Well, this is something new. Welcome to Old Man Gaming. Now, if what you see is the game being weird. Um, I fast traveled to a, a city or a place, and uh, it's 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 jacked up. Holy cow! Where is it? Sent us clear to the bottom of the map. I was trying to fast travel over here. Let's try again. That is crazy. Anyway, like I said, welcome to Old Man Gaming. We're back here in Fishing North Atlantic, and that's the first time I've actually seen this game screw up so bad. Hopefully, it's not going to be a thing. That's looking better. That's looking better. Okay. So, as you see, we've got the... Uh, Ocean runner out. We're stocked up to actually go do long, uh, not long lining, deep line fishing. Uh, what I'm really looking for is some tips here. I'm hoping to find, well, none of those, that's for sure. Let's make sure we didn't like burn all of our. Oh my gosh, it took like all our fuel. We just, I just filled up. Well, I don't know. All right, so we're going to fly over here. I'm just looking for tips, and then we're going to go, and we're going to do some tuna fishing because it's still the season has come for tuna. We're June something or other. The 25th, yep. Um, I want E. Normally, whoops, normally I do this all before I start the video, but considering, okay, that's what I'm looking for. Considering the weird, uh, <laughs> the weird thing. That just happened, I thought we would. I feel like some things have changed in the game. Oh, like visually. I'm not going to mess with them though. I'm okay with it. Let's see. Get out to our map. Where were we? It's 12 days to go. I guess the tune is probably here. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to fast travel here. Now we'll go start setting some long lines out or deep lines out. I want to make some money. I'm tired of, you know, getting 500,000 and 600,000. You know? Tuna, I can make. Well, we'll see. Should be like easy million, if not more. Let's make sure to. Dang, dude. Like, seriously. We haven't even been here. Let's just see if they've got any tips for us. All right. That's three days ago. Are there any other places that's three days ago? Oh, whoops. I didn't want that. Eighteen days ago, we're gonna take that off. They're too old. Even nine days ago is pretty old. Eighteen is terrible. We'll have to just get tips from the people. So I spent six thousand dollars for everyone to tell me that it's just right here. That's four or five. These are kind of older. I'm gonna take some of the. They seem to be moving that way, so that's why I'm... Okay. These are all pretty old. Well then. I was hoping for like a second area of tuna. Well then, how do we get out of here very quickly?
just because this harbor is always a difficult one to get out of. I need to do that. No, I want to skip. If it's, it's like eleven thirty, let's see. Let's skip eight hours. I want it to be light. That's not light enough. Alright, we're going to give this a go. Mm. Oh, I forgot uh, that we needed to travel a little bit down here. But it's not bad. Let's see how, how many... I uh, see one hour is not too bad. I'll pay two hours to get down to the fish. All right, so we're gonna set our autopilot to basically go like that. Whoa, is it supposed to be like? Foggy, what's what's the I guess some guys out on It's all this this is add on just for fun since it's here. Now, who knows? Actually, I do have to look at this. It's really weird. This we could probably turn down just a little bit. Like, I'm not really having any problems. I just think that. Is there like a gamma? Turn it down just a touch. Or brightness, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. That's pretty loud. Sorry, I'm just messing with the volume here. I feel like this boat's charging away. It's, it seems a lot faster than the other boat. Uh, actual. Actually, I'm gonna... Because for me, it's even kind of loud. Uh, I'm gonna turn this down a little. Just a touch, maybe. I haven't seen any uh, tuna yet. We're still a bit of ways away, so. So I'll probably plop down a couple lines and then I will uh whoops I don't want to do that. Then I'll probably pause, put down a bunch more, we'll pick them all up and see what we get. But I know tuna's been 
it's always the money makers that's why i switched for a little while besides the like last few episodes we've been running with the uh long line we haven't been doing bad but we can do better with the uh with the tuna so that's why we're that's why we're here Hopefully the six thousand dollars I paid for tips isn't gonna be a bust. I'm thinking we should maybe start seeing some soon. Although I know that it's three days old and they move. We should maybe start seeing the tail end of Say a, a school of them, maybe. Cleaning up my glasses here while we while we roll in the emptiness of the sea where there should be tuna. I don't see any on the radar. Come on, I paid good money. Where's the fish? <laughs> Don't make me go find him by myself. All right, here they are. So let's uh, stump out a line. I think I think that's how it works. Man, we could have could have had one running. Okay, that's... I see a few, so I'm pretty happy about that. Come on. I want to drop one here anyway. These ones are very particular. I think it was almost 22 hours they had to hang out. So. He, he didn't repair. Or I'd like to drop one right on that line. Or this, this group here. That should be pretty close. Because that's the bottom back of the boat. I forget this like it's not I, I like this because it's simple you just throw something out and then you wait and you go pick it up it's not like they have to be aligned and all this jazz and man too bad I couldn't put out a couple of baubles right here dude I'm like just look at that that's a nice big old school of fish what on earth is right there That's weird. I have 40 of these. I wonder if we're going to get them all out. Wasn't hard to find the fish. Our intel is good. So if you don't know, uh, me and Brenny J2 Gaming, we're having a race to 1K. I did win, but I want uh, I want that you all check out his channel because he's really cool. He does this game way better than I do. I have to admit, <laughs> you know. So he's a cool guy as well. Please help him out check out his channel let's get him up to 1k as well because it's a uh, it's a good thing I don't know if I want to send out like 20 of these or I mean like that's half I don't want to like 
set out too many. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see our storage. What do we got for storage? 40k. Really? Okay. That almost worries me because I, I don't know how many we're going to get off of like. Like if we get 1k per thing, then that's 40. But well, we'll throw out 20 and see how it goes. We're almost there anyway. But no, he didn't do it. Let's see. All right. Wondering if we're gonna have to turn around soon. I mean, there's still fish in the water, so we're gonna just keep going as long as it takes. Or as long as there's tuna in the water, we're gonna drop. Is this my quota here? Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. Not to worry. We got these few here. We'll drop one when they get more to the end. And there we go. That's a good drop. At least I think it is. So six more. How's that? Out Oh, because he's got one prepared, and then there's one waiting. Okay. Come on, lots of fish here, dude. Let's drop a, just drop a line, man. I think I've trained most of these guys. These three guys have been like my guys from the beginning, but I have given a lot of them more training. So hopefully, they'll be really good. All right. Four more to go. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. But that also means maybe that if we need, we can turn around and throw out 20 more. Let me see. We are quite far away from those tuna, but there's still tuna in the water. So I want to throw some out here just to kind of know. Okay. Come on, we just got one more. Are you ready or do I have to? Okay, it was ready. Maybe we'll go 25. It's just going so easy and quick. And there's still fish in the water. Let's not ruin a good thing. So we got 20, but like I said, there's fish still showing up, so I think, well, yeah, we'll see. I was going to say, I think once you start seeing other fish, then you might be outside this zone of... But no, there's still fish popping up on screen, so I keep dropping buoys. Now they are getting pretty scarce, so I might. I just think I might wait, but we got this guy, these guys here. I 
I mean, we only need two more to get to 25. And the fish are still coming. I like it. This is my theory. This is the end of the boat. I'm throwing stuff over the end of the boat. So when the fish get here, that's when I'm throwing them out. Could be wrong, but I think that's really how it works. You know, but like there's other boats where you throw it off kind of on the side. And so you want to drop it when they're in the middle. But this boat definitely from the back is the best, uh, you know. Now that's 25. So we keep going. I just don't want to like have a bunch of fish hanging out where But I do want to come in with a full boat as well. So let's just they're gonna be getting like less and less, so I think we're close to the end of this huge this section, maybe. If they keep coming, we'll go to 30 and then we'll turn around. But like, there's just this single guy out here, I don't know. There they are, still look coming. Not as often, but... All right, I think... I feel like that's that's good enough. Got 28 out. We can uh, cancel that. And then back here ways. Yeah, that's close enough. And we'll start see give these guys like 22 hours. So it's three hours in. So if we go like 19 hours, it'd be pretty close. Oh, let's tell our workers to go to bed, people. Only this guy, but you know. Maybe we should add some guy cooking. All right. Well, uh, hello. What are you doing? Oh, you're cooking. Yes, okay. I ain't cooking. I just start this dumb sign all the time. But you're not cooking. You're washing dishes, lady. The, the stove is over here. Uh, just, you know, pointing that out. Wildlife in Nova Scotia. All right. What did I say, like 19 hours? Oh, 19 hours. Okay. I'm thinking maybe we'll do 18 anyway. Plus it's also daytime, which makes me happy. Okay, we'll go one more hour. One more hour. And I hope I haven't like Okay, so we need deep line hauling. He said 12, so we could definitely take him. He's good. He's at 10. Let's check the other guy out. Looks like he's high enough. Okay. Let's get cracking. I can see my line of buoys. Oh. 
this is the long part, but also the exciting part because you get to pick up the uh, the buoys and start seeing how much money you're going to make. Perfect. So we'll see, cause yeah, I was hoping they pull up three, and then we'll see if uh, like how much it is, and with twenty-eight out there, we'll see if if we're in trouble or not. That's about what I thought, so I'm happy with that. They would be something around a thousand uh, pound, uh, kilos, so. I like to kill the engines when we. So this should be a really nice haul. And that's what I'm. And you know, we gotta get some money in this game so I can get a trawler. Boat. I think the cheapest one is either six or nine million. So, this trawling looked like a whole lot of fun. Very complicated, but uh, fun. And that's kind of besides because we've done lobster, we've done the net fishing, we've done all the fishing, but trawling, and then, hold on, and then uh, what's the other one? Not lobster, but crab. But I don't have the DLC for that, so I'll. I'll have to get that at some point. I see three on that one. That's good. So I think I've got this, this one down. For a while, people were saying it's broken, but I think... They weren't waiting long enough. Most people would wait just 19 hours. They would come out here and have just one fish on the line. But I found it's more like 22 hours. Like I think every line I've pulled in so far has had three. Oh, that was a little more than one case. So that's nice. Alright, if I get... 900 or so per thing, I'm happy. Need three on that line. Might be also, you know, you gotta make sure you guys are trained enough to get perfects or goods every time. If they all suck. <laughs> you don't get, you know, you don't get quite the weight uh, allowance you'd like to see. We're doing fantastic. Well, that was a bit low, considering. I'm getting some... Getting some achievements. I thought I've done a whole bunch of tuna fishing, but it seems like we haven't got to 500 yet. This is some good water. We'll have to come back and... And throw down some more. What is our... So we got 4k going. I guess we can shut this window for a little bit. So 
so far this is a good this is a good catch i'm happy oh that tells us right here <laughs> i'm always looking over there but it, we gotta so we pulled in well, this will be our sixth one and we'll only be around 5k so i mean we're you know obviously we haven't been hitting 1k each one which which would be nice but i was expecting about 1k per thing so basically it looks like we could have thrown them all out and gotten almost a full full boat full but we were running out of fish with you know without turning around. and i didn't really want to turn around so that's why we didn't if I want to, I just come back around and throw out another like 30 lines and let's see what we make with this. Cause this would be really good. Again, that, uh, yeah, it's Brenny J two underscore. Is it? No, it's Brenny J underscore two gaming. <laughs> <laughs> hey that was a big one that's nice so check him out like i said he does this game so much better than i do this is kind of like his main game for me my main game seems to be gold rush a lot of people are starting to like uh the gold hunter as well i'm not saying it's a bad game but it's it's in development so there's there's bugs and things, so if you're not into bugs, and you want a complete game that works, I wouldn't suggest that one as of yet. I'm not saying it's a bad game, just some people, that's not their forte. As a game developer, I like to play games that are in development, see what they're doing, see how they, like, what their development cycle is, uh, how they do the updates what they fix and like what they find is 700 come on stop playing games here people so for me it's intriguing to like get on these early access games and watch them develop them and see how they make changes and how the updates improve or break the game more because you know there have been updates in many games where it's broken the game more than fixed it <laughs> and that generally shows that they, they maybe don't have a huge team for testing and uh, they didn't didn't really test it so well that's a nice nice amount of fish in the bucket so after this is our 10th one so we'll probably be at least 9k I mean it's it's nice it's, it's good I was hoping more like 11k, but <laughs> can't complain. We're getting fish. They make a lot of money. So it's going to be, we're going to take them to the probably Yarmouth because that's, that's where I've got the best uh, reputation and very often where the best prices for fish are. I have gotten better at navigating and picking things up though, I think. At least this looks like I'm a pro. <laughs> 9,300 before, that's actually good. We kept getting 1,100 uh, kilo pull-ins, then we probably catch back up. What's our catch this time? 900. Oh, that's still better than... Better than nothing. 
It's all these, I think that's all the... I don't normally do the swordfish because they're just not, they're not the money makers. <laughs> Although I guess if we, you know, fish out the tuna, we could go to the swordfish because there's still way more uh, valuable than, you know, doing net fishing and long line. At least while they're in season. And this ocean runner has been like, this is to me a really these like really good fishing boat. It does most all of the fishing that you want to try. And uh, it's just a really solid boat. It's not too big. You, know, you don't have to have 50 people to run it. Holy cow, look at that. That's just a thousand. Thousand fish. I'm gonna put another tuna down here too. Okay. At least in this section, I think we can come back and drop a few more pods. And ah, that was also a good like amount of catch. Even though this is the grind of the game, you know, just getting fish so you can get the next boat. I don't know, maybe it's the ocean or something, but it doesn't feel so bad. It doesn't feel like a big grind. Like some games where it's just like, oh my gosh, same thing over and over. I guess with this, maybe it's because I have several boats and the like, way that you can fish for stuff <coughs> is different. So... It's, you know, you can change it up pretty easily. Like with this boat alone, I think. Sorry, I think we can do like four different types of fishing, which, you know, leads to less boredom in your drive to, or your, your, uh, grind, grind to the good money. Uh, that was that was a little low. Come on, people. I think next time we'll roll around and we'll uh, we'll set out all forty. Actually, it feels like. It, 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 and it's true. Picking them up takes much longer than setting them down. Only good. Hey, that was pretty decent. I'm glad we didn't stop at 20. Not that that uh, we've had a bad haul, but like we we're having a really good one, so I'd rather keep it up, keep the momentum going.
Getting closer. I mean, it was a weird start. <laughs> I've never seen the game do that. I mean, the biggest problem I've had with this game is it keeps running me into all the AI boats and damaging my boat. But that's, I don't know, been that way for a while. You either run into it more like it won't let you go. Um, no, they're always causing a little problem, being a little bit of a headache. So I'm surprised to see the boat flipping everywhere and I'm off the map and But the third one, I guess. Oh, wow, that was really small. There's not a lot of fish in the under the boat, so I guess maybe that's why. I've been yawning a lot. Sorry, guys. I don't think I slept very well last night. I had a worse. Well, I went to bed really late. And secondly, um, halfway through, well, not halfway, like I'd woken up at some point to go to the restroom and my tooth was hurting and it was so much that I just like, I kept waking, I'd fall asleep and wake up, fall asleep and wake up. I mean, at some point I was just so tired. I, I finally continued to sleep, but I got getting to a dentist. Like I have a cavity and unfortunately a portion of the tooth is, is like it broke. Which is, I'm sure is why I'm in so much pain. <laughs> so I need to, need to get myself to the dentist. So we're at 17. 17.5 it looks like and we've picked up basically 20 so we're down about 2k if we were hoping to get a thousand out of each one and what's the score eight All right, we got eight more to go. Not too many, finally. It does feel like it took some, a bit of time. <laughs> so today I have this interview for going back to school. I guess that's how they do it here. Um, it's not exactly what I want to do. So if I can't find a job, I'm going to this 15 month schooling to become a full stack developer, which I mean, I was studying that earlier and I, you know, it's, it's a great profession. Don't get me wrong. Um, and in fact, they need those kinds of guys within the game industry. So, uh, I could still get in there, but I would really prefer to be more like the a game what is it, gameplay programmer rather than like a front end or back end or full stack developer doing those kinds of things. Although <clears throat> actually it's a whole nother spec, but I was going to say if I do the <clears throat> like DevOps, that'd be pretty cool too. And does all the automation of the building of the games and deploying them out to people. And, uh, it's quite interesting to me as well. I know they used to have it. I don't know if I have it turned off or they they stopped using it, but uh, 
It wouldn't be such a bad thing if there was kind of some rough weather here now and again, you know, and give you a challenge in the game. For strong winds, I mean, I know, I think they still have the strong winds, but like it always seems for me, this is like what we have, nice, calm, sparkly ocean and everything's just easy breezy. Like, I don't, I'm not complaining, but you know, it'd be cool to see the bigger waves and maybe I have to do this through a storm. Watch all your people get seasick, you know, that kind of stuff. It's like, Jose can't go out, he is sick and throwing up. <laughs> or Gerald, or whatever these guys, Graham, Graham was the guy's name. Wow, we only got like halfway full. I mean, we'll be a little over half full, but. I was actually hoping we'd see more. Ah, close enough to a thousand, can't complain. I mean, we've got about one, oh, we got five more to pick up. Okay, so technically we could get 5,000 more. I see all three. For a minute, I was like, oh, it looks like that one only had one on it. <laughs> that would be kind of sad. This has been quite a smooth episode besides the beginning. <laughs> Just a couple more to go. I don't even know what they're going to ask me in this interview. So I don't know how to prepare, but like it's for school. So it's not like, you know, it's not like, uh, it's not like an interview. For a job and most of the time they do except most all students I don't know if they're gonna have a test or anything it's interesting that they're doing it this like a lot of schools maybe it's like when you uh, or maybe it's the type of school this is like a very um, specific kind of course they're giving Or very tailor-made, I guess, you know, rather than like this general um, education that they give. And then you end up with like an associate's degree or bachelor's degree. Sort of like tailor-made for just this. It's supposed to help people that are transferring from one type of, of uh, career to another, you know, career jumpers. Which I'm not, but like, I'm so far behind the market with that particular uh, field that I actually do need to go back and study. Because I just haven't kept up because I'm trying, you know, focusing on programming for games and 
that only got two in it. Oh, there's the third one. But you know, I need to know like React and Node.js and Tailwind and that's most to me. That's all front end and uh, fine. That's not too bad. I preferably like back end stuff where you work on servers and set stuff up there and write scripts to like handle stuff and then write the code to like operate the the uh, the web page or whatnot I mean that's what that's what uh, react is like I would be the guy writing the library react rather than the guy using the library react to make something I mean that's like where I kind of am or where I feel like I fit in. Uh, like for instance, like the website I made for my wife and I's company is basically, uh, it's like WordPress, but it's not WordPress because I, I, I made it all myself. So it, you know, you can go in, you can obviously log into like a, a backend UI where you can add content and create stuff for the site or change what's already there um, so it functions a lot like WordPress but it's not mainly because I think WordPress is an overkill for what we're doing and secondly because um, I think WordPress is a bit bloated and like their back end always seems really slow and like I'm aggravated using it because it's just like it's slow and tedious and they lock you down that's the other thing they lock you down in a lot of things and I'm just like I'd like to do this but you know you don't have the functionality there so if there's something now I like as a web programmer I want to do with our website then I I just program that functionality in and it's all it's good to go it's okay we've cleaned it all up we're at 25.8, so almost 26,000 kilos, which is pretty decent, I must say. Uh, actually, we need to what uh, finances and see who's got the best prices. So tune is at 45 at Yarmouth. It's probably going to be our best, but let's see. 44, 45, so that's not too bad. Lockport's pretty decent. Even Digby, so there's a few places we can go. You know, like a few cents is not gonna, oh, it's almost a dollar, so okay, never mind. Yarmouth, it is. Except I didn't, I don't know if I want, I wanted to go to the map tonight. You don't want to get stuck at sea. I'll never be stuck at sea. I'm just going to break out a paddle and paddle my big fat boat elsewhere. It can work. <laughs> okay, let's dock. Yes, I would love see 1.1 million. So we could almost get away with, you know, 2.3 million if we had a full boat. Actually, it's probably a little more. But, uh, Actually, I don't know if I got enough things to fill it because of how, like, not much we get <laughs> off of one catch. But, alright, let's sell that. That's looking good. I like that. Very happy with today's outcome. So, but we'll leave it here. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you're brand new, please subscribe. Again, please uh, check out J underscore 2 gaming Great guy. Lots of awesome videos. Good friend of mine. As always, thanks for watching.